Despite covering a ton of GTA content over here on the channel, you might be surprised to hear that I'm a huge fan of the Saints Row series as well. Even after the series' inevitable decline after the third installment and its horrendous death with that horrible reboot that like nobody asked for. Check this out. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. Oh my god, I'm sorry. But Saints Row 2, on the other hand, is by far one of my favorite open world games of all time, if not my favorite, besides GTA 4, of course. And it still holds a special place in my mind even after 14 years. Unfortunately, though, CD Projekt's PC port has been barely playable since it launched back in 2009. And despite the efforts of the late Idol Ninja, who was a dedicated fan trying to fix the PC port at all costs, they unfortunately passed too soon, and the official fix for the PC port has since been left in the dust, since, well, Volition bit the dust as well. However, some dedicated fans in the series are still keeping up efforts to breathe new life into this incredible game, and I wanted to show how you can enjoy the PC version of Saints Row 2 with mostly minimal issues, as well as showcase a few other mods from the community that, when combined together, can remaster the game and bring a whole new experience to the table for old heads of the series and even newcomers. Plus, I'll show you how you can easily get multiplayer back up and running with all of these mods included as well towards the end of the video. So join me as we take a look at how to remaster Saints Row 2 ourselves here in 2024. Now, first things first, to play Saints Row 2 on PC with the least amount of issues, you'll first want to make sure that you're using the GOG or GOG version of the game over Steam. Now, I know what you're thinking. You probably already own this game on Steam and you don't want to have to buy it again, and I totally get that. But the Steam version of Saints Row 2 still has the old EXE file that released way back in 2009, which, as you can imagine, is entirely unstable on modern machines. When GOG re-released the game on their storefront, however, they included a more updated EXE file that helps prevent certain crashes that happen even on the vanilla version. Now, this doesn't fix the game itself. Like, it's still buggy as hell on this version. Dude, whoa. What? But it's way more stable right off the bat. But to get even more stability, that's where the first mod in this video comes in. The developer Uzis, who happens to be one of the devs for 10k Rising and also helped develop Rethought, which I covered before, has put together a collaboration of fixes all into a single injectable file that you can just drop into your game's install location for both the GOG and Steam versions, with that mod being called SR2 Juiced. Juiced is probably the primary mod that you want to use even if you plan on playing this game in its vanilla state. This helps fix a variety of crash issues and even includes a crash logger that you can optionally turn on in the mod's config file. And speaking of that file, there's a ton of extra configurable settings that should have been included with the PC port from the start. With options like being able to remove the vignette from the screen, removing the black bars from cutscenes, to now having the possibility of uncapping the frame rate in the game and having it run at a consistent 60 FPS or more if your hardware allows it. Plus, there's more options in there that allow you to increase the draw distance as well, but it does eat up more of your CPU usage as it states in the config file. But with these fixes included, these already make the game feel infinitely better, and even turning off the weird blurry visuals that were included in the game originally makes the game look so much better overall and allows you to see textures way more clearly in every scene. Plus, speaking of scenes, this also fixes cutscenes where characters or objects would be out of sync in the original version. But now, all cutscenes play out as they should and look incredible with those cutscene borders turned off. This singular plugin does so much heavy lifting to make the PC version of Saints Row 2 way more playable than it originally was. It also gives you a lot more freedom in how you want the game to look and operate. And it's consistently getting updates from its creator, adding even more features through the plugin over time. In fact, SR2 Juiced is just a small taste of a mod project coming in the future from the same developer called SR2 Reloaded. But while it's still in development, you can enjoy this Juiced plugin on its own to help you re-experience Saints Row 2 on PC. So with just these two steps alone, using the GOG version and the Juiced plugin, you could easily jump right back into Saints Row 2 and start having a grand old time. But like I said, I also want to show you how you can mod Saints Row 2 even further if you're looking for a more revitalized experience. Welcome to the gun show. 
The first mod to help us achieve that is of course the one and only Gentleman of the Row mod pack, developed by the one and only Idle Ninja. Rest in peace, buddy. Gentleman of the Row is an essential mod pack for Saints Row 2 on PC, and it even includes a ton more fixes to help make the PC version even better to play. But it also includes a variety of new additions as well that are completely optional to begin with, and comes in this neat little installer package that allows you to choose between all of the different permutations that the mod has on offer. And it triples as a mod manager too, which is what we're going to be using to install all of the other mods on this list that I'm going to be covering. But GOTR's new additions to the game include a variety of new outfits that you can buy or even unlock, new accessories for outfits, a new set of unlockables to be achieved through 100% as well, like new weapons, new storefronts, new clothing options, and you can install new gang styles, and hell, even have a new way of playing that zombie uprising minigame by letting us switch locations to the mall instead of old Stillwater. There are so many new additions that are included within this mod compilation itself that just with this mod alone, you can make this experience feel entirely fresh compared to the base game. My favorite new addition though out of everything has to be all of the new logos that you can get inside of the clothing stores for most of your clothing items. There's a ton of different band logos, game logos, and hell, even a few memes here and there. And I even noticed some of the pedestrians having these logos on their clothes out in the wild too. And if you want even more new content added to the game, then look no further than the Nova SPE mod pack developed by F13. This includes a ton of new customization options throughout the game, from new jogging animations and even running animations, to new taunts and compliments as well, and even gives us a ton of options to bringing gangs back onto the streets even after completing the story, or hell, adding even new gangs to the game as well, or old ones, like remnant members of the Vice Kings. Plus, there's not just more customization for ourselves, but this mod also includes different customization options in its files to change up the look of all of our homies with entirely new outfits to choose from for them. And also giving us the option to customize the Saints HQ like we could with any other property we buy in-game. And hell, speaking of properties, there's even new ones included here that you can purchase, including the Ultor Tower for a whopping 1 million bucks. And there's even more to this mod itself, and it's all completely optional, just like with Gentlemen of the Row. Another thing I wanted to do to remaster the visuals even more was to fix up the camera a bit, both on foot and inside of a vehicle. The on foot camera for Saints Row 2 wasn't bad, but I wanted to try to bring the camera a little bit closer to an over the shoulder position to bring it way more up to modern standards. The mod that helps with that is the GTA 5 camera options mod by Yeehaw Phoenix. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't allow you to switch between cameras in game since that wasn't really an option to begin with. But you can easily switch between these two camera options in your mod list by just rebuilding your patch with Gentlemen of the Row. But it includes three different versions of the GTA 5 camera by having a normal view, which is a bit more zoomed out, until you fine tune aim your weapon. But then there's also two different closer options, with one having a bit more of a higher pitch over your character. I chose the latter because even with the camera being closer, you still get to see most of what's ahead of you. But having this closer camera allows you to see so much more of the finer details around the map just by walking around, and it really lets you take in still water a whole lot better with this new perspective. Plus, the thing I love about this mod too is whenever you sprint, the camera actually pans back out to a normal view and lets you see exactly where you're going. And the fine-tuned aiming position is just perfect in my opinion. Now when it comes to the car's camera in-game, this is where you need to turn on a couple of options with two different mods. In the juice config file, you can turn off the handbrake camera, which does exactly like it says, and makes it to where your camera doesn't stick to the back of the car anytime you drift around a corner, which was personally one of my least favorite things about the original game, and I never really liked how it forced your camera to stare at the ass end of your car. Plus, turning off the sticky cam option in the Gentleman of the Row pack as well, which makes it to where your camera doesn't like automatically reposition itself, both allow you to have so much more freedom with your camera while driving around. It really makes me wonder why this wasn't a thing included on the PC version originally. This makes driving vehicles feel so much better and allows you to get a better view of your car. Plus, you may notice the car's camera is offside a bit in this footage, and that's because I also added the GTA 4 camera mod made by the same author. 
And I don't know, man, I just, I love the GTA 4 vehicle camera. If you don't want to include it in your mod list, then you don't have to, but I, I just love it. And one last visual mod I wanted to include in this list was Viva Volition. A tribute mod to the late studio that gave birth to the series to begin with that includes a ton of new textures placed around the game that either fix certain objects that weren't ported over properly or includes easter eggs that shout out the original devs and even the late idol ninja there are a ton of new concept art pieces thrown up inside of your cribs as well that show off some really interesting designs and there's some cheeky easter eggs added in as well with all of these new additional textures being optional to add through the gentleman of the rope patcher and all of these different textures you can find are such great tributes to the series and the studio that gave us these amazing games in the first place so yeah i had to include this one plus there's a few more mods i found over on saintsrowmods.com which is where i essentially got all of these that really helped bring home together this entire remaster list for me in saints row one there were many different ways you can get around the city instead of just driving ourselves around or taking a taxi like for example you could actually take the train that went around the city and kind of use it as a way of fast traveling Saints Row 2, however, had this feature mysteriously missing, but there was code left in the games showing that it was going to be implemented at some point, but thanks to Seabound Saint, this feature has been faithfully added back into the game as another means of fast traveling around Stillwater. Even if it's essentially a glorified teleporter, it's still an incredibly useful tool to help you zip to major parts of the city without having to drive all the way there. Then we have one of my new favorite and pretty much essential mods to the game for me. Destructible trees. I mean, it's destructible trees. Come on, how many times have you crashed into these damn things in the vanilla version of the game? This, however, fixes that problem and allows you to plow through almost every tree in the game depending on how much force you run into them with. And I can't tell you how incredible it is to finally run down these fucking trees. So yeah, this one, essential. You need this one in your list. But when it comes to this game's audio, let's just say for this PC port, it's probably one of the worst aspects. Characters sound like they have their gain on the microphone turned up a bit higher than it should be, and hell, even the radio sounds pretty choppy at times. Luckily though, the juice patch includes an audio fix that does mitigate some of the sound, but due to the pitching method that the mod uses, it can drown out certain background noises or even cut them out completely but it does make characters and cutscenes sound a lot better. And like I said, that audio issue also extends to the game's fantastic roster of songs, unfortunately. But thanks to the high quality radio fix by N69, you can now enjoy all of this game's fantastic soundtrack at an appropriate bitrate and quality. And one of the big selling points for Saints Row 2, at least for me, and why it still remains one of my favorite open world games of all time, is because of the game's option of letting you play through this whole damn thing with a friend. Co-op in this game was handled incredibly well. It makes for some damn good times when it actually works. Multiplayer for Saints Row 2 and its servers faded away just as GameSpy did back when the service shut down in 2013. But thanks to the devs who made the open source version of GameSpy called OpenSpy, which thankfully is already pre-bundled with the juice patch, you could finally play co-op and multiplayer again on Saints Row 2. Albeit, you'll have to have all the same mods installed, but having multiplayer readily available without some crazy backend setup makes it an even better experience, and hopefully it encourages some of you to bring a buddy along next time you visit Stillwater. But with all of these mods combined, we've essentially remastered Saints Row 2 ourselves for the PC. And with all of these different features and settings all readily available, you'll be able to have a fresh new experience to play through. So get out there and take back the town. By the way, all of the mods I discussed in this video will be linked down in a Google document down in the description, and installation instructions will be included alongside each of the mods in their respective pages, or in the files once you download them. Or if you're too lazy and don't want to build your own mod list, I went ahead and included a zip file as well that you can find in the description too that has all the necessary files you need to enjoy the same remastered mod list that I played for this video. You just drag and drop it to your Saints Row 2 folder and you're good to go. 
Just make sure you're using the GOG version, like I said earlier. And also adjust the juiced configuration file labeled reload.ini and change it to whatever you find necessary to make the experience your own. But with that being said, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this at all. I know this is a little bit different from covering full-on total conversions like I've usually done, but I wanted to take a crack at creating my own mod list and showcasing it in a video especially because of showcasing another one got it taken down and again orny i'm really sorry about that dude let me know if you like to see this type of content for other games uh and make sure to subscribe too if you're interested in seeing modded content videos overall i make a ton of modded content videos over here including total conversions mod lists and whatever you'd want to see uh but yeah let me know if there's any other mods you'd want to see in the future uh, besides gta or with saints row 2 even or with other mods i would love to cover them I know I've been slow as hell uploading lately, but I've had a lot of life changes going on and hopefully I should be able to get more back on schedule soon um, and get some more videos out for you all. But thank you all for being so patient with me. It is it is much appreciated. Also, thank you all for helping me reach 10k subs. Like, I, I totally forgot about that. Like, it's crazy to me that we even got to this point because these videos, but uh, let, let's try to get to 50k next. Yeah, Let, let's let's give it a shot. Like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Also follow me on other socials, all that jazz. You know, do it, just do it. Anyways, y'all, I gotta go. Um, have a great rest of your day or a better one tomorrow and I will see you all next time. Blado out.